I'm going to teach you what, what is available to you, you could take to your children something that no one will ever take from them. Right. Nobody. Right. Nobody will ever be able to take what we teach away from nobody in the community if they listen. Right. No one will ever be able to lie to your son and say he's a nigga. Right. No one will ever say he's an African American. Right. No one will ever say he's none of that. He will be able to say, no, all that is lies. I'm a Jew. If I believe I'm gonna be a doctor, if I got faith in it, don't I gotta go to school to be a doctor? Don't I gotta do the homework to pass the test? That's how I show that I believe I'm gonna be a doctor. I can't just say it, can I? That's what a lot of black people do in the community. We talk a lot. You know what, I wanna start my own business. In order for me to show that I got faith in my business, guess what I gotta do? Start the goddamn business then. I can't say I want it and then don't go do it. Faith without works is dead. So how in the world is the Christian church going to tell you all you got to do is believe in Jesus Christ, you get the kingdom of heaven? No, you got to do something to prove it. Let's get that. John 15, 14, 14, 15, if you love me. Because Christ said it. If you love me, keep the commandments. And we're going to read it out of the Bible so you know I ain't making this up. Read. John chapter 14, verse 15. Uh -huh. If you love me, keep my commandments. That's what he said. That's not hard to understand. So if you got faith in Jesus Christ because you love him, guess what you would do according to that, my brother? What would you do? Would you keep the commandments based off of what Christ just said? But why don't our people do that? But they say they love God all the time. They say they believe in Christ all the time. But they do not do what Christ said to do. Just like tomorrow, you celebrate New Year's. Do you know about New Year's? Do most of our people celebrate it? They all in sin. Every single one of them. Every single one of them. And then they take their children to celebrate it too. They children know nothing about the Bible. Matter of fact, let's get Jeremiah 10. You celebrate Christmas? Now, we had a brother that was up here that was in church. Had another brother that came, had lost faith. He literally, he's 74. And has never read Christmas in the Bible. But he does it. We're going to read it in the Bible and see what God said to do about it. Because it was just last week. It was just last week. And now people have been doing it all their lives. Read. Jeremiah chapter 10 verse 2. Thus said the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. It said learn not the way of the heathen. What do you think they mean? Learn not the way of the heathen. Don't do what they do then, right? Exactly. So it means do not do what the heathens do. The other nations, that's what the word heathen means. Me and you are the Israelites. He's telling us, don't learn what these other races of people do. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. We ain't supposed to be all up in the stars talking about zodiac signs and crap. That stuff means nothing. But our people will mess around and miss out on a good thing all because, you know what, our signs don't match. You're not a Capricorn and I'm an Aries. You're a Pen you're, uh, what's the other stuff? Pisces. Pisces and all that. And they talking about we're not compatible. What? Over some stars that somebody don't understand. God says we ain't supposed to get caught up in that mess. Read. For the heathen are dismayed at them. That's what the other races do. He just told us don't learn their ways. So he said don't learn zodiac signs. Because it means nothing to you. Watch this. Read on. 
for the customs of the people are vain. Their customs are vain. No good to you. They're deaf to you. Read. For one, cut a tree out of the forest. Oh, we reading the second custom. We just read about the stars and the moons. Now we said another custom they do. They cut a tree out of the forest. Uh-huh. <laughs> now we're going to read about this holiday. Read. The work of the hands of the workmen. Uh -huh. With the axe, uh -huh. they deck it with silver and with gold. I'd be darned if there's not a tree in the middle of the hood. With silver and gold on the tree in the hood. And now what people got it in their gat during house and then put, put, put presents under it and then they tell their children, Santa brought it. Bring it out. What does Santa look like? He look like the white man, ain't he? Bring it out. But don't the grown-ups go and work and put all the hours in and buy the stuff? Gee. But then we give our glory to a white man that can't come in our house. Bring it Bring it out. Out. You see how jacked up we are? That's a darn shame that the black community gives all their glory to a whole nother race to, and their children. Then they wonder why their children grow up and disrespect them. Well, you ain't the one brought it, Santa did. <laughs> Bring it out. I'll disrespect you because, oh, well, Santa bought this for me. You didn't get it for me. I bought it. Well, wait a minute. You know, now the child is confused. Now the child is confused. The child is confused because the parents are pushing confusion in the house. Now your son and daughter won't listen to you. Well, they don't think everything they got, you told them a white man gave it to them. So they respect them and hate you. And then you talking about to your family member, man, they bad, they just won't respect me. I try to give them a do X, Y, that's because everything that they've been given, you said another race gave it to them. So they ain't supposed to listen to you. That don't make no sense. Read, First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Uh -huh. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. You lie to your children, they good manners are gone at the door. You lie to your kids, their good manners are gone. It says evil communication corrupts good manners. If your children respected you when they was kids and you lied to them, they will then disrespect you because all the lies you taught them, now they believe them. Evil communication corrupts good manners. They don't believe us no more. That's why they say whatever y'all grown ups is doing, I don't believe you. It used to be that the young man would go and learn from the older man. Now the young man going around shooting the older man. And the younger women go around shooting the older women. And don't nobody say nothing. Don't nobody say, then, then that person that was shooting everybody will die. And then our people talking about rest in peace. They ain't in peace. They in torment according to God. Because they tormented their own people. God got them in torment. But we like to tell ourselves lies. Evil communication corrupts good manners. So we are a nation full of liars. And won't tell the truth to our kids. We won't even tell ourselves the truth. And when brothers come out on the street to teach the Bible the way it's supposed to be taught, you don't want to hear it because it hurts your feelings. And it hurts your feelings because you've been lying all your life and you know it. And now somebody had the guts enough to stand in front of you and tell you, you know good and well you shouldn't be giving your glory to no other race. You know good and well you ain't been doing what you're supposed to do as a parent, but you're going to stand in front of us and say, well, it is what it is. I'm going to worship and do what I want to do. And that's why we died like God said we was going to do. How you doing, mother, over here? My mother right here, how you doing, sis? I got a question for you, if that's all right. Why not? Why not? Now, I, have a, now I got a question. I got a question, not, not necessarily biblical, but I want to know, why don't you want to talk to me? Well, what, well, all I'm doing is talking to you about God. I don't even know what you're talking about. About God? I know about God. You do? I have a question. What is your race? Baptist and um, non-religion. Now, now I have a question for you. Is Baptist a religion or race? I don't know what it is. I was just born that way. Watch. I didn't ask you. I know. I know. I know you was born that way. You see? You see? I but I didn't say nothing, sis. I'm you trying to help you. you okay. I, never I know. I know. 
And the fact that our people are broken like this is because pastors lie to our people. We are the pastors. We are the true pastors of God. We are the ones to come out here and to teach our people the truth because our people have been lied to. Our kids don't know their race. Our families don't know their race. We are the Jews when we read the Bible. We are related to Moses. We're related to Christ. We're related to Paul. We're related to uh, Aaron and the sons. We're related to these people. That's our family. But all we can't even ask each other what's our race without us getting offended. Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. That's why we don't talk. We don't act like family in the black community. That's why everybody is about themselves. Right. Zephaniah 2 and 1. We don't gather together and talk to each other. We won't even, we're not willing to hear each other out. We're willing to get mad all because we ask, what's your race? But we don't want to do that. Read Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1. Gather yourselves together. God says for us, the family, we are to gather together. But we don't want to gather together. We want to be separated. God says, gather together. Read. Yea, gather together. O nation, not desire. The reason why our people break down when we get asked questions is because the world has broken us down so bad. Because God said that nation that is not desired come together. It says we're not desired. The fact they won't desire, all these other races don't desire us, and we don't desire each other. The nations don't desire us and taught us not to desire each other. Right. Read, before the decree bring forth, and we must gather before judgment come to this place. But he ain't talking about gather for a cookout. He ain't saying gather for Christmas. He ain't saying gather for Thanksgiving. He ain't saying gather for the 1st of January. He's saying gather and keep the commandments. But our people don't want to do that. Read. Before the day pass as a chaff. Because this day is going to pass as a chaff. Boom. There will be bombs here. This city has more churches in it than anywhere in the world. And it's torn down with our people. We live here and we getting jacked up right here with all these churches in the community and they do nothing for us. Nothing. More churches in this city per square mile than any other city on the planet. Yet and still, black people don't know what God looked like. Black people don't know what Christ looked like. Black people don't even know that they're breaking a Sabbath day when they're cooking and playing around on the Sabbath on Saturday. They don't even know that Jesus Christ looked like the man in all black over there with the white beard. We don't even know that's what Jesus looked like. We mess around and play around with God. We don't even understand the city we live in used to be where they brought all us to whenever we rebelled to buck breakers. And now we are buck broken. Now we follow all the lies that they push because we do not want to be, we don't want to stand out like a sore thumb and look like we different. When God says we are peculiar people, we are better than everybody. Is that it on that verse? Let's get that. Deuteronomy 76, 210. All right, we about to close up. We'll close after this scripture right here. Well, two more scriptures. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art holy people. You are the holy people. You are the dry bones that God is going to wake some of you up. Right. That's why we come out here, because God says, go to the dry bones. Right. You are them. And God says he's going to wake you up. Read. Unto the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God, hath chosen thee. Uh -huh. 
to be a special people. We are, as we do stick out like a sore thumb. Right. Because to be special, you don't act like nor look like everybody else. God says we are special unto him. Everybody got that special thing they love. God do too, and it's us. Read unto himself above. No, everybody else want to be equal to everybody, but God says we're what? Above uh -huh. all people that are upon the face of the earth. That is who we are. We are above everybody on the face of the earth. Right. You're not equal to nobody. But right. when you drop down and worship their false gods, you make yourself below them. Right. Ain't no equality with God. You either going to be on the top or the bottom. And right now we on the bottom because we choose to. Right. We love to be in sin. We love to follow idols. We would rather get high and drunk instead of being in our right mind. Right. Let's go to Romans 15 and 4. Matter of fact, no, Joel 2.27. Y'all, everybody thank God. Everybody got a God. The only people that got a true God is you. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, you the only ones that got a true God. Everybody else follows idols. But you turn around and follow those idols every time you go to church on Sunday. Every time you celebrate 4th of July. Every time you celebrate Christmas. Every time you celebrate 1st of January. You follow their gods. Read. Joel chapter 2 verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. God says he's amongst the Israelites. The true Jews. That's us. The so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Read. And that I am the Lord your God. It says I am the Lord your God. That's possession. He's only our God. Read. And none else. He's nobody else's God but yours. But you choose to hate your own God. You choose to hate your own God when he said he chose you above everybody. And the reason we went into slavery is because we chose to hate him. Just like a father would do. Oh, you want to disobey what I told you to do? I'm putting you on punishment. That's why we in punishment now. Give me Romans 15 and 4. We closing out after that. Romans 15 and 4. Because a lot of y'all don't even understand where your comfort. Everybody want to get drunk and high for comfort. Want to be addicted to sex and porn for comfort. Want to eat all the pork and all the abominable food for comfort. Your comfort comes from God. Read. Romans chapter 15 verse 4. For whatsoever things were written afore time. Everything that is written in this Bible, read, was were written for our learning. It's written for our learning. We're supposed to be learning from God out of the Bible. Right. Everybody want to say they got the knowledge. Got people throwing flyers. Right. Talking about what did they do to Christ. They crucified him for you. Right. He died for you. That's what they did to him. Problem is you don't want to give it back to him. Because you're supposed to be that living sacrifice now because he sacrificed his life for you. You're supposed to put your life on the line for him. Read. That we, through patience and comfort of the scripture. That through patience and comfort of the scriptures. Not patience and comfort of the weed. Not patience and comfort of the rock. Not patience and comfort of the holidays. Not patience and comfort of your birthday. Not patience and comfort of your drinking, your alcohol. It's that patience and comfort of the scriptures. Free, might have hope. That's where you get your hope from. That's, right. That's why our brothers and sisters ain't got no hope in our community. Right. Because they don't go to God first. Right. They would rather go to everybody else but God. Right. They would rather be out here drunk, high, and in all kinds of abomination and prostitution instead of going to God. Right. Is that it on that verse? Read it again from the top straight through. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, were written for our learning, uh -huh. that we, through patience and comfort, of the scriptures might have hope. Uh -huh. And that's what we supposed to be coming back to, the laws. Right. That's a darn shame. We show up, everybody tell us to leave. Right. The oppressors show up, everybody says nothing. Right. You can't make this up. You can't make this up. We show up, now nah, y'all need to leave, take your signs and get off the block. The oppressor come by, everybody get quiet and say nothing to them. Like I look, like I said, the safest person in our neighborhood is the oppressor. Period. Cause we will say hey, the wrong color. You are the wrong color in the wrong neighborhood. You getting shot. The oppressor can wear any color in the neighborhood and run through your neighborhood. They ain't even gotta drive fast. They can jog through that mud, and everybody gonna say nothing.
Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!